It came from the void, an object older than Earth, faster than anything we've ever tracked, and it's now screaming past our sun. Scientists are calling it the most chemically alien visitor we've ever seen. And as it spins through the solar system, 3C Atlas is releasing bizarre unnatural gases, including one element linked to volcanism and life. The signals we're receiving, they don't make sense. What exactly is this thing? And why is it acting like it's alive? The arrival of an alien visitor. In the quiet hours of the 1st of July, 2025, a signal blinked across the skies of northern Chile. The Atlas telescope, stationed on Mount Aloha, captured a fast-moving blur slicing through the backdrop of familiar stars. This object, later labelled A1PL3Z, defied initial classification. Within hours, orbital analysis revealed something stunning. It wasn't bound to our sun. Its velocity and trajectory exposed a secret. It came from the interstellar dark. The object was renamed 3I Atlas, marking it the third interstellar object ever detected. Prior discoveries like Oumuamua in 2017 and Tuai Borisov in 2019 had already pushed the boundaries of astronomical imagination. Each brought new puzzles, but 3I Atlas added something more, the sheer suddenness of its arrival. One day, nothing. The next, a frozen remnant from a system billions of kilometers away was cruising past us. Scientists had long suspected interstellar comets existed, but seeing one so clearly and so active was an astronomical gift. The naming process followed international convention. 3I stands for third interstellar, while Atlas credits the asteroid terrestrial impact last alert system, a sky survey that specializes in detecting near-Earth threats. But unlike most Atlas finds, this wasn't near Earth. Instead, its incoming speed of nearly 130,000 Tuanstmpi and sharply curved hyperbolic orbit confirmed it could never be captured by our sun. It was just passing through a galactic tourist. The excitement spread rapidly. News agencies, observatories and space enthusiasts watched with rising tension. What was it made of? What secrets might it carry from its alien home? Could it harbor? Clues about the chemical legacy of distant planetary systems. The last time an interstellar visitor arrived, it left more questions than answers. 3I Atlas was different. It was bright, active and, most important, arriving with just enough time to be studied in detail. But even as excitement brewed over its interstellar origin, something else began to capture scientists' attention, its incredible speed and age. The data suggested that 3I Atlas wasn't just a rare visitor. It might be one of the oldest surviving objects ever to enter our solar system. Its orbit didn't match the stars of our galactic neighborhood, but traced back to the thick disk, a region that predates our solar system itself. What if this object had been traveling since the birth of the Milky Way, an unusually ancient and fast interloper? 3I Atlas streaks through the solar system at a mind-bending 130,000 mon ph. That's over 58 kilometers, fast enough to cross the distance from Earth to the Moon in just over one hour. Its orbital eccentricity, a measure of how non-circular its path is, was calculated at over 2.2, making it not only interstellar, but the most hyperbolic object ever observed. That kind of speed isn't just rare, it's almost unthinkable, but it gets stranger. Its velocity suggests it didn't come from a nearby star. It came from much farther. Using its motion and galactic velocity components, astronomers traced 3I Atlas back to the thick disk of the Milky Way. This ancient stellar population formed more than 10 billion years ago, possibly as early as 14 billion. It's composed of stars and objects older than our 4.6 billion year old sun, that means 3I Atlas could be one of the earliest formed icy bodies ever observed, predating Earth, the Sun, and even the formation of our solar system. It's a cosmic time capsule from the galaxy's forgotten youth. Its age isn't the only mystery. The object's physical evolution through time is completely unknown. It may have been ejected during the violent early years of a dying star system, or flung into interstellar space by gravitational chaos near a black hole. For billions of years, it wandered the emptiness between stars, untouched, unaltered, and nearly invisible. Until now, its speed, eccentricity, and form create a profile unlike any known comet. This history adds urgency. 
Three Eye Atlas may only remain, visible for a few months before vanishing forever into the black. Astronomers race to collect data, hoping to catch a final glimpse before it's gone. Like a shooting star frozen in time, Three Eye Atlas might carry within its ice and dust the first solid matter that ever formed in a young galaxy long before our own world even existed. But velocity and age weren't the only anomalies. When the James Webb Space Telescope and ground-based spectrometers zoomed in, what they found stunned researchers even more. Three Eye Atlas was spewing gas, but not the usual water vapor or carbon monoxide common in comets. Instead, it was emitting carbon dioxide in record-breaking amounts. Its coma, the glowing cloud around its nucleus, was like nothing seen before. A hint that this object's chemistry wasn't just rare, it was entirely alien. The first infrared observations of Three Eye Atlas by the James Webb Space Telescope revealed a startling signature. Its coma, instead of being dominated by water vapor like most comets, was rich in carbon dioxide. The measured CO2 to water ratio reached Values of 8.1 by far the highest ever recorded in a comet. This means that for every gram of water there were 8 grams of CO2, a composition almost unheard of in solar system objects. Something was deeply wrong, or very different. In standard, chemistry behavior, water is usually the dominant volatile. But here the JWST, along with VLT and Gemini Observatory, confirmed the presence of unusual gases carbon monoxide, hydrogen cyanide, nickel, and trace levels of OCS, carbonyl sulfide. The water content was so low that some theorized an insulating crust might be suppressing its release, but another more chilling theory emerged. What if 3i Atlas was formed in a completely different thermal environment, far beyond the CO2 frost line of its original star? If true, this would mean that its parent system allowed the formation of ices we don't normally see preserved in solar system comets. That would make 3i Atlas a representative of a whole different kind of planetary system, perhaps one that never formed inner rocky worlds like ours. Its extremely CO2-rich outgassing isn't just a chemistry quirk. It's a signature of another origin, an alien blueprint. The implications are vast. Carbon dioxide is considered a marker of planetary atmospheres, volcanism, and even biological. Processes. While there's no evidence 3 Eye Atlas is artificial, the fact that it carries such an unusual chemical profile raises new questions about what forms in the dark corners of other systems. This is not just a comet. It's a chemical messenger. Its gases spell out the story of a world long gone. By mid-August 2025, telescopes around the world had turned their gaze toward 3 Eye Atlas. From Chile to Hawaii to JWST orbiting beyond the moon, the object became one of the most closely observed interstellar visitors in history. Images began to flood in, showing a shimmering coma, not white or grey like typical comets, but glowing in a surreal combination of reflected and refracted light. In filtered composite photos, it resembled a cosmic rainbow, a mesmerizing swirl of ionized CO2, dust and sunlight. Observations by the Very Large Telescope, VLT and Gemini South, confirmed two remarkable features, a dense, bright, sunward-facing jet and a long, faint, anti-sun tail. An anti-sun tail, unlike the usual straight tails pointing away from the sun, this jet appeared to be pushing forward, almost as if the comet was expelling material from the side facing the star. This behavior, observed during early September 2025, suggests highly volatile ices boiling off even at far distances around 2.1 AU from the Sun. Even more fascinating was the coordination across observatories. The Swift X-ray Telescope, JWST, SphereX and various radio arrays collaborated on a continuous monitoring campaign. They captured the gradual brightening of 3 Eye Atlas as it approached perihelion, logging real-time data on coma expansion, outgassing velocity, and spectral fingerprints. The object's apparent magnitude peaked at 10.2 in late October, still too dim for naked eye, but brilliant under long exposure. The coordinated effort yielded not just pretty pictures, but vital clues. The velocity vectors of the escaping gases hinted at a spin, a rotational period of roughly 6.8 hours based on brightness variations, and within the tail, spectrographs 
found fine grains of carbonaceous dust, suggesting the nucleus isn't just icy, but laced with ancient organic compounds. These organics, frozen for potentially 10 billion years, may be the oldest biogenic material ever studied from outside our system. As the colors faded into scientific data, the focus shifted from what 3i Atlas looked like to where it was going. Its orbit, calculated by JPL's horizon system, revealed a precise yet dramatic trajectory. While it would pass through the orbits of several planets, it would never come dangerously close. Still, the path it traced through the inner solar system offered a fleeting chance for observation and raised the tantalizing possibility of an interplanetary flyby opportunity. From the moment 3i Atlas was detected, astronomers scrambled to project its course. Using over 400 astrometric observations from July to August 2025, teams at JPL and ESA calculated a hyperbolic orbit that would swing the object around the Sun between the 29th and 30th of October 2025 with a perihelion distance of just 1.36 AU between Earth and Mars, 